The topic of this video is determining even and odd functions from a graph. A common question I receive from students goes a little something like this. If a function with y-axis symmetry is called an even function, and if a function with origin symmetry is called an odd function, why isn't there a special name for x-axis symmetry? So I'd like to explain why this is true. The key to understanding is the word function. Let's take a look at some x-axis symmetry for a moment. For example, this rightward opening parabola has x-axis symmetry. Remember, x-axis symmetry is illustrated by rotating the graph around the x-axis and having the picture be the same before and after. If that's true, that means for every point above, there must be a point below, such as this particular relation. For a point above, there is a point below. There's just one problem. That's not a function. A function has to pass the vertical line test. And if you are able to draw a vertical line that intersects the graph of a relation at more than one point, then it is not a function. And for this reason, functions with x-axis symmetry doesn't get a special name because that's not possible. It isn't possible for something to be a function and have x-axis symmetry. There is actually one exception to that rule, but it is not the kind of thing that we would study in this class. Uh, that would be the only function which is both even and odd at the same time, and that would be the x-axis. The equation of the x-axis itself is a function that is both even and odd at the same time. But we're not going to assign a special name for just one function. So that's the reason why we don't have a special name for x-axis symmetry, because it would not be a function.